My feminism, I think, is, is really focused on intersectionality and sort of being a woman, but also being a black woman and what that means and how oftentimes it's discounted. And oftentimes when we say women, we mean white women. And we're not really thinking about how it's sort of complicated when it's also wrapped up in race um, and how it might be different. Being raised in a very Catholic upbringing, Catholic school and nuns and learning the opposite, <laughs> sort of learning the opposite, I sort of had to come to first coming out of the religion thing and like finding my way out of that and then figuring out these uh, other ways of thinking through reading and um, reading about women, watching films and sort of <laughs> travel. My study abroad here was really eye-opening. In my own household, uh, these sort of gender roles are very Sort of, I had like a strong mother who was basically, she was doing all the raising, but he, my dad made all the money, but she was also doing all the cooking and the sort of infantilizing him, which is kind of what she taught us to do, I guess, in terms of men. Me asking my mother about this, she sort of said that I would only understand when I have a husband, <laughs> that this is what you have to do, yeah, and that's how you have to treat them, because they won't do it themselves. So, um, yes, yeah, and, and just his confusion, I think men's, at least in my own household, not really feeling need to be involved because they make the most money, and like that's their job, is to make the money, and my mom's sort of reinforcing that, like I do the raising and he makes the money, and anything else that goes on here is not really his, his <laughs> issue, it's like all the, since slavery being sort of not powerful and feeling masculine and sort of in power and the need to like empower them and again infantilize and, and make them feel like a man because society is so hard on them, which they are, but <laughs> that is on our responsibility, so that's how they see it. It's sort of like no matter if they commit a crime or they're not like present or, or anything, you sort of just are taught that you're supposed to put up with it because um, sort of a black man that's doing something, you don't want to, uh, you know, disencourage him or step on his toes or, or um, emasculate him because the whole world emasculates him. So <laughs> that's, um, there's a lot of pressure not to do that and put up with a lot of things that you shouldn't put up with. Like I do see the race complication in it. Like I do understand like, why people think that this whole idea of like black men being men and it's so important and it is, but not at the expense of me <laughs> as a woman, like that I have to put it all on myself and like fill these sort of binary roles in order to, to lift you up. I mean, we can lift each other up, I think. Whatever the white people who found in America said that these things mean. And so you're emulating that rather than, cause you have no other culture to go on. It's not like, <laughs> You're an immigrant in any way, so it's very complicated. It's it's all of that is ingrained inside of you, and then it, then you internalize all the the white supremacy and self hatred, uh, while also you know trying to to um, achieve it in some way. So it's it's very strange. <laughs> it's a strange thing. The white male is the default male. Then it's like having a white wife gets them into spaces, and and it's sort of like. I get to rise up and then I get to have these children who are lighter and it's this whole thing. I mean, I can't speak for everyone who's doing this, but it is a prevalent thing. And, and we can't say that women are, are black women are, are affected by white supremacy, that black men aren't. It's just different. And because they're a man, they still have patriarchy and that's different. So they can, you know, it's access to different spaces as well. And it's, it's a whole thing. Um, and also feminism itself becomes an issue in the black community as far as I think black men. It's hard to find a black man who's gonna you know, accept a feminist because again, stepping on his toes, um, of being treated like a man or a king, as they like to say in our community. Um, yeah, so this is diff difficult to be a feminist uh, of color.